Hey everyone, congratulations on making it to the last episode of the Let's Create Breath of the Wild series. I know we did not end up with a complete replica of Breath of the Wild, but it was my goal just to show the things that you usually can't find tutorials for on YouTube, such as climbing, stasis, and paragliding. So, why am I ending the series? Well, first and foremost, a lot of my time is occupied by my real-life job, and a lot of my free time is taken up by making my base-building game with my friend. On top of that, I'm shifting my concentration for tutorials to the Black Ops Zombie series. But I'm going to link a lot of resources that can help you continue Breath of the Wild. So first up is Third Person Combat. There's a great video by Uisco called How to Make Melee Combat System in UE4 that will help you get started. By the way, I'm linking all of these videos in the description. He makes a sturdy foundation of code that can be applied to a lot of different third person melee weapons. It's a great channel in general. I think he also has videos on punching, sword combos, and ragdolls, so go ahead and check him out. In terms of archery, the channel Code Like Me, maybe my favorite UE4 channel, has an entire in-depth playlist for third-person archery. I love his videos because he includes quite a lot of detail and he really knows what he's doing. Definitely subscribe to him if you're looking into game dev. In terms of world building, open worlds are a popular topic in Unreal Engine. There's a lot of resources on that. Smart Poly has a good video on creating one with the help of World Builder, uh, which will get you really natural looking land, so go check that out. But if you don't want to use a third-party application, I once again recommend Code Like Me's first few videos in his Open World RPG playlist. Going back to his detail-oriented videos, he also has one on weather systems, day-night cycles, and quite literally over 400 more videos in that playlist. The channel Upside Down has a great video on optimizing open worlds with persistent levels, so if you're planning on your world being large, this is a useful watch. It's called How to Make a Massive Open World Map in UE4, and the link is in the description. In terms of quests, Ryan Laley has a 13-part tutorial series on RPG quests. Now, I'll be honest, I actually haven't watched these tutorials, unlike the others, but Ryan Laley is one of the best UE4 YouTubers we have. I've seen plenty of his other videos, and they're always clear and high quality. Anyway, those are some videos, playlists, and channels that'll help you keep your momentum to making this RPG. If you need help finding something else, or just want to join the community, feel free to join the Discord. Thank you for watching this series, as it's the first thing that got my channel off the ground, and maybe someday I'll add another video or two if there's truly no other tutorials anywhere for a specific mechanic. But for now, I'm off to finishing the Black Ops Zombies tutorial series. Hope to see you there. Darling, you